Hey everyone, good morning, it's Sarah. How are you doing? This is Piper. Say hi, Piper. <laughs> hi. She's a seven-year-old golden retriever and we're just gonna do the D-shed package today um, and trim her up a little, her feet and legs. So this one, <laughs> she's sweet. Hi, Piper. She apparently got into a skunk a little few weeks ago. So she smells a little musky. So we're gonna shampoo that out and get her all cleaned up and smelling real good and fresh and clean, right? Yeah, she's a sweet girl. And we're gonna clean up her legs, her legs and feet a little bit, get all this gone. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. Right, Piper? Say bye. Okay, here we are with Piper. How you doing, Piper? Yeah, it's her first time here. So we're just kind of like hanging out, get to know each other. She's so soft. You're so soft. Yeah, you are. And she's got so much energy for a seven-year-old dog. I was surprised to hear that she was seven. She's so pretty. Um, anyway, as always, the first thing I like to do is do the pads, nails, and I can clean up the feet even before we get in the, in the bath um, just to get rid of any excess hair we don't need to wash. Just get rid of it while we're ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how she how she does with the buzzer. And adjust. There we go. Okay. Some of this hair. We don't. They don't want all the hair gone. Just want most of it. Good girl. Good girl, Piper. Oh, she's such a good girl. Look at you. You're not even fighting it. What a good girl. <laughs> a lot of dogs just fight me on this whole thing so good girl it's kind of nice when you get a dog that's used to it um, but yeah they want their feet tidied up real nice clean feet i like clean feet too so it's a good good thing to get most of this hair out of the way The nice thing is, if we can get most of this hair out of the way first, it makes it easier to trim the nails because I can see what I'm doing when I trim the nails. The hair's not all covering it up. <laughs> so, I'm trying to do that first. We don't want any dirt or moisture getting collected and held in their feet. No. Good girl, Piper. Good girl. Let me see. Good girl. This hair out of the way. Sometimes you gotta come at it from different directions to get it all. Good girl, Piper. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Yeah, you can sit. That's okay. Good girl. You can sit. Yeah, you can sit. What do you think, huh? What do you think about this whole thing? It's not too tight, just kind of cinching it up a little bit. I also like it to be kind of right under their neck instead of down here on their chest. But anyway, then they can put their head up or down. All right, let's see if we're done here. Gonna dig around in there, see if I can pull any extra loose hairs out that I missed. Good girl, Piper. Yeah. Sometimes there's long hairs in between the toes. Yep, there we go. Get those. Okay. It's okay, hold still. You've probably been through a lot, haven't you, with your skunk escapade and them trying to get the smell out. It's okay, it's okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Right. Okay, I don't want to make you uncomfortable. You okay there? Yeah? Put this way. All cleaned up. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, can we do the back one? Can you stand up? Stand up. Stand up. That's a good girl. Good girl. I think she's a little, um, I think she's a little unsure about this table because it's a little creaky. So they kind of, they want this area gone. So I'm going to, what do you think, huh? I'm 
gonna go down to my longest <sighs> using my Wall Brevera cordless. I love this thing. Um, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take this off because I want that gone. And I'll, um, I'll get the rest of that when we come back from the bath, but this is the rear. Get most of that off. Okay, come here, give me your foot. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. It's wet and it's kind of got gunk in it. So get that all out. Get that all out. Good girl. Good girl. I guess I can shorten that up a little for, for the pads. What do you think, huh? You doing okay? Yeah? Can you have this foot? That's better. Good girl. Good girl. I love how when you get clean feet, you start to see this little, <laughs> this little teddy bear image emerge. This little teddy bear here, I love it. It's so cute. There we go. Good girl. Uh uh. Good girl. Good girl. You're okay. You're okay. It's okay. Yeah. Good girl. this hair. It's okay. It's okay. Let me have it. Good girl, Piper. Good girl. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you're doing good. Good girl. Good girl, Piper. Okay, all right. I'll give you a minute. Should we try the other side? Mm -hmm. Keep all that together. The other side, okay? Come over here. Come this way. It's okay. Come, come this way. Good girl. The table is just a little bit creaky. Here, we'll put you right here. You don't need to be all the way up there. Come here. It's okay. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. It's all right. Good girl. Good girl, Piper. Yeah. Good girl. Okay, hold it. Can you come this way? It's all right. There you go. Try not to lift their legs too high. Just in case they have any like hip problems. She keeps <laughs> she keeps pulling it so that it's going a little higher. Can we go this way? I got it. It's okay. She's like pulling away, so she's lifting her leg higher. <laughs> okay, stand up, stand up. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the feathering down here. First. All right, let's finish this foot, shall we? Yeah. You gonna let me do it? You gonna let me do it? You wanna sit down? Okay. You can sit down. That's all right. I don't mind. Yeah, I had a feeling. She might wanna sit. It's okay. 
Okay. I gotta get those hairs. Yeah, I gotta get them. What do you think, huh? Is this whole thing just really weird? Is it really weird? Mm. I agree. I think it's a little weird. But we gotta do it, huh? So we can always come back and kind of put the finishing touches on there we go. On the feet when we come back from the bath and blow dry. Yeah. I don't want it to be looking all weird though. <sighs> this looks a little weird. There we go. Okay, you do this one? Good girl, Piper. Good girl. Good girl, Piper. Yeah. Can you just look away? That's okay too, but you gotta let me get in there. Gotta let me get in there. Sorry if you can't see that. Checking my angles. Maybe she will let me get a little bit more when we come back. There we go. Trimming the dew claw wouldn't be so hard because it wouldn't be so hard to find it. I don't want to cut off too much of the feathering, but okay, so there's the difference before and after. Yeah, and it's not completely done because I'm, I haven't finished the haircut. I haven't even bathed her yet, so we still got that. Still got that to do. And boy, I am smelling that skunky smell. It's starting to get to me. <laughs> At first I was like, oh, it's not too bad. It's very mild, very subtle. But boy, I am smelling it now. It is there, man. She said they've started to go a little bit nose blind, which I can see that, but I can smell it.
So this is for mom and dad and anybody else that wants to know. Just need a little brush like this, right? Just need a little brush. And then you just, if she'll like give you her paw, <laughs> brush it up. So you can see the hairs here sticking up and then just get your curved scissors or any scissors really. Honestly, you just have to kind of angle it and cut. And you know, if you're doing it yourself at home between grooming visits, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can just be enough to get the majority of the the Hobbit, <laughs> the Hobbit looking feet done, right? Okay, hold still, hold still. You're okay, good girl. She's doing really good though. And then you just kind of, wherever the nails are, just kind of put your scissors up against them and just kind of cut, cut around the edges, turn them this way. Against, just put, just place them against the flat of the, the nail or the pad, just to kind of anchor yourself a little bit. Then you know you're not, you know, don't go this way, go flat against it. Right? Yeah. Okay. Brush it down. Brush it down. Make sure we got it all. Okay, hold still. And then I'm going to just look underneath here. Okay, good job. Yeah, and so that's it. That's all it takes. Just a couple minutes and they look all clean and tidy. Hopefully that's clean and tidy enough for them. And I'll go over them again when we're done with the bath. Can you stand up? Stand up, baby girl. All right, let's do your back foot. Let's do the back foot. Back foot might be harder because they can't sit and hand do their paw. <laughs> with the back ones, like they can with the front ones. Right? Yeah, good girl. Thankfully these guys don't I would say don't have them. They don't often have back do claws. Because maybe they sometimes if they're I don't think purebred goldens have back do claws, but if they're mixed with a Pyrenees or anything like that. Just double check this hair here. I know I'm sorry. Oh yeah, see we missed some. Gotta get your thumb in there or a finger and pull it out. Just in case, because sometimes the brush does not catch it all. Yep. <sighs> all right. I think that's pretty good. Good girl. Good girl, Piper. You're handling this so well. But if I can get the majority of this done now before the bath, then there will be less to do when we come back from the bath. I like to take the brush and kind of brush the back. I think that's the hawk area, I believe. Like this is the fringe, the feathering on the fringe, and then this is the hawk area. So, but we will make sure we touch up that really good when we come back to. Okay, pretty feet. You got such pretty feet. I don't want to cut too much of that off. I think I'm gonna brush it out and then I will trim that when we come back after the blow dry. All right, you wanna come this way for your other foot? All right, guys, I know this is probably taking a long time, but we are almost done. This way, good girl. Good girl. Yeah, wait, wait, hold on, this way. There you go, there you go. You wanna sit down? It's okay. Well, we take our time with the new ones. We take our time with the new ones. Yeah. Kisses. Sorry. <laughs> Do you give me kisses? Thank you. Thank you, Piper. Oh, thank you. Oh, kisses. <laughs> thank you. You're so sweet. What a sweet girl. What a sweet girl you are. You're so sweet. Thank you. All right. Let's do your back foot, and then we'll go in the bath, okay? All 
Alrighty. Can you stand up again? Stand up. Good job. This way. All right. extra hair okay and we can do that sitting down that's okay just can you pull your foot forward just a teensy bit okay there we go see it just like blends right in like as if there was no extra hair there and it looks so pretty. Okay, okay, whoops. <laughs> Let me see your foot. Let me see, good girl. Yeah, okay. She's like, lay my foot alone. I don't know you. I don't know why you're doing this. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, that's a good girl. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. I wish you all could see this. Sweet, sweet doggy giving me kisses. She giving me kisses. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I would sit here and take all the kisses all day long. But we got job to do, don't we? And I told them 1.30 or 2-ish. And it is 12.20 right now. So we have an hour to an hour and a half tops to get you bathed and blow dried. So we got to hurry. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Good girl. I think I might be able to go a little bit more on this nail here. But not too much. Just a teeny bit. Nope, hold still. All right. Okay, look at you. Look at you. You're so pretty. I also want this part trimmed up too, which I think I'll do when we get back as well. Okay, we'll clean our ears out really good. And trim this hair but I just want to check to see if there's any matting or anything but yeah we're gonna do the de-shedding treatment on her which is the de-shedding shampoo and conditioner and I'm gonna shampoo her twice we're gonna do the squeaky clean the eye groom squeaky clean shampoo and then the firminator de-shedding shampoo and conditioner and then I'm gonna do the um I'm gonna use the what you call it the hair mask the ultra whatever it's called I'll list it. <laughs> I haven't had all my coffee yet today, but I will list it in the description. Okay, let's get started on your bath. Okay, we're back here in my bathing station with Piper. <laughs> yeah, we're t we're tethered here, aren't we? Yeah, that's where you're gonna stay. It's not tight, but she's just checking it out. Here, I'll show you. See, not tight at all. There we go. Okay, um, but I just wanted to take a quick minute. <laughs> Don't bite it. It's okay. A uh, quick minute to go over the products I'm going to use. Um, Eye Groom Squeaky Clean Shampoo. I didn't have enough, well, I kind of had enough time, but I forgot um, to mix up a uh, dilution, a dil uh, dilution bottle like this one. Because these can be diluted, I think, 16 to 1 or something like that. And so I usually dilute it and it goes farther, but I forgot. So we're going to use a straight. She's going to get concentrated, squeaky clean, but I think that's probably for the best considering she has. Um, some, uh, oops, some, uh, skunk, uh, smell in there. So maybe the concentrated will actually help and get it out. And then we will use the Ferminator D-Shed shampoo and conditioner, which I also forgot to make some up ahead of time. And then we're going to put on the Hydra Flash Thermoactive Mask. It's got, so moisturizing with a thermoprotective effect, kind of the same way you would want to protect your own hair from 
the heat, like blow drying and other hot tools you use on it. I won't be using any hot tools on her other than um, a, it's a mildly warm blow dryer, but either way, this protects it and you just leave it on for 90 seconds and it starts working. But it's like super deep conditioner. I love it and it smells good. Um, and then I'm gonna use Mr. Ben's ear wash for dogs to clean your ears out. And then I'm gonna use this little guy and I will link all the um, products that I use and the sites to find them in the description. So we will go ahead and get started with little Miss Piper here. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Don't do that. Silly girl. Yes, we're gonna give you a bath. Get you smelling all pretty. All right guys, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are back from the bath now. How you doing? I took an extra long time in the bath um, and did extra shampoos like on the, because it seems like the, <laughs> it seems like when we've got her, her fur wet, the musk smell just intensified. So like the skunk smell got stronger when it got wet. Um, and so I could smell it pretty much the whole way through and I, um, did an extra like a third shampoo just kind of because it seems like the smells concentrated kind of right in this area so like right in here but um so i did an extra i let the shampoo sit longer and the conditioner sit longer did an extra conditioner and a third shampoo around her face ears neck just in that area so i'm hoping i mean i can still smell it but it's i think it's fainter so i'm hoping i'm really hoping that we got the majority of it out. So before I blow dry her, I'm going to spray some Hydra Ultra Dematting and Finishing Spray. It's like, I don't know, it's like an extra leave-in conditioner. It's very fine, it's not bulky, it doesn't leave like residue or any stickiness on the fur, but I feel like it just leaves it softer, fluffier, shinier. Um, she doesn't have matting, thankfully, at all, so that's good. Um, but I just think an extra <laughs> layer of scent on top might help, um, might help things with the smell a little bit. It smells so good, I love this stuff. It smells really good. So I'm just gonna kinda get that in there as much as we can. I know I'm kinda using a lot, but um, I, feel kinda, I kinda feel like it's necessary at this point. So, okay. Okay, she's like done with standing. So I just kinda rub it, kinda rub it into the fur. Pretty good. Sorry guys, I think my angle isn't very good. All right. Also she she shook really good several times in there and I was already was getting the camera lens, but okay. So kind of rub it in really good. Let it sit for a minute, kind of soak in, even down to the skin if possible. She did so good in the bath. I, I She might've liked it, I don't know. She might've liked it a little bit. I think there were times she was digging it. Were you digging it? 
And then at the time she was like, are we done yet? <laughs> but she didn't mind the water on her face. And that's not surprising. I think she's used to being bathed, especially after that whole, the whole uh, skunk fiasco. So anyway, okay. So I'm gonna put this happy hoodie on her because I don't know how well she does um, for the blow dry. And like I said before, my blow dry isn't very loud. <laughs> you gonna put your face in there? It's not very loud. It's one of the quieter ones, but you know, if they're not, you not ready for it or, you know, not used to hearing it, it's nice to have some, a little bit of a layer of protection um, for their ears, because their ears are more sensitive than ours as far as hearing goes. So I'm gonna try and just get her ears tucked in there. And, um, and then we don't let the air also get blow up in there. Um, when we're all done with the majority of the body being blow dried, I will take this off and just see how she tolerates it around her, um, like around her neck and behind her ears because I would like to get her ears dry as much as possible. Stay here. Sometimes they hate the happy hoodie more than they hate the blow dryer sound. So we'll just see how she does. It's not very tight. It's pretty stretchy. <laughs> She's really cute. All right, we'll go ahead and go um, get started with the blow drying. done with blow drying and I must say <laughs> I have blow dried many many dogs without using these <laughs> so these are great I just so shout out to Dee Dee Croy from myfavoritegroomer.com I just ordered these off her website and I have dried so many dogs without using uh, eye protection and let me just say <laughs> There's a lot less hairs in my eyelashes and eyes, so that was pretty good. I appreciate that. All right, so she did really good. She didn't mind it too much. Certain areas, of course, she didn't like, but she didn't mind it too much. And look at how fluffy and soft she is. She's so pretty. What a pretty girl. And we're almost done. Just want to brush her out and trim up, trim up a few things here. But um, I just noticed that when I use that the blow dryer, the force blow dryer up close to her hiney hair kind of got a tangly and matted a little bit. So, all right, she doesn't like that very much. We'll work on everything else and we'll come back to that. How about that? So you can sit for a little bit and just chill. You wanna just chill for a little bit, yeah. So, her ears aren't fully dry, but I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna push, you know, the air. There. Thing is with that blow dryer, the closer it is, the quieter it is. So the closer it is on the skin, uh, the quieter the sound is and it gets a little bit louder as it pulls away. Um, but I, I like to do that first, dry the skin and then pull it, pull it farther back. And then I can see it pushes the hair away. And I say this every time, I love this thing because it pushes the hair away and I can see the skin. I can see a good like section of the skin. So I do that up and down. Not only does it finish drying everything and blows away all the extra undercoat or dead hair that needs to come out, um, but it also lets me see the skin. So I do that all the way around the whole body and I take a good look um, at the skin because you know, at home, Parents can't always, you know, you can't always do this and pull the hair aside on every section of the skin. Um, that's a lot of work. So I like that I can do it effortlessly and just take a quick look for the parents' sake. And if I see anything, I will let them know, hey, check out this area. It looks like there's something going on. Um, as far as the smell goes, I can still smell it. Yeah, it's still there a little bit. Um, 
that's not too bad and hopefully as it dry, it seemed like I think I told you before that as it got wet the smell intensified so I'm hoping that with the dry hair um, that it will start to like go away and lighten up and just fully kind of dissipate over time <laughs> it's been like three or four weeks so hopefully that that happens but we'll see We'll see, I'll have to ask them how it goes, um, but I'm sure she'll smell a lot better than she did when she came here. I think I might even give her another spritz, okay, hold still, of that uh, leave-in conditioner spray even after, because you can use it wet or dry, so it doesn't matter, but it's nice because it leaves a nice scent behind, so we'll try that, but. I don't know, I did what I can do, man. I am not equipped to remove skunk musk smell. Maybe I should be, <laughs> I'll charge extra for that, but I'm just giving her the regular stuff today. I'm not doing anything extra, just just the regular de-shedding package. So I, I have updated um, a little bit on my website. Well, my website actually doesn't reflect it, um, but I will try to put that on the Facebook or Instagram page. But I used to just have a de-shedding treatment um, option. And so that one has prices for all the weight ranges. Um, but the de-shedding treatment just is just uh, bath and blow dry, or bath with the Ferminator de-shedding shampoo and conditioner and a blow dry and a brush out. It doesn't include anything else like nails, sanitary pads, you know, ears or any other sort of um, like, you know, hair trimming or anything like that. So I do have a new price for the de-shedding treatment package. Um, so that's because that includes everything. And just so you know, whenever I bundle anything, it is cheaper than if you were to add it up all cart, you know, individually. Uh, the bundles are cheaper, so the packages anyway. So I do mark it off about ten, sometimes fifteen dollars, depending on what it is, um, for getting the package for doing all of it. Because mostly people want everything done, and if you were to add it up all together, that would be a lot. So, um, so I mark it down for the packages. So she got the de-shedding treatment package. Includes, you know. The feet pads, nails, ear cleaned, um, and then a little bit of a, well, actually doesn't really include hair trim, um, so that's a little extra. Any any extra hair trimming um, is extra, so. But not much, like I think I'm just charging her like $5, so it's not a big deal. All right, so we're not getting a ton of hair out, which is really good because I saw a lot of hair come out in the bathtub and it clogged my drain. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that, um, but. Yeah, we got a lot of hair out in the, sh in the um, shower, so that's good. There wasn't a lot coming out. I probably blew a lot of hair too off. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch on the floor from the blow dry. Just blew out the rest of the undercoat that was in there. And that's what the um, de-shedding shampoo and conditioner, they, they work together. Um, Mostly it's the conditioner, honestly. But they work together um, to help the loose hair that needs to go, just let go. Um, and so then when I blow dry it, it just kind of blows away. And so that's really nice. Come here, okay, I gotta do your hiney area. This is never fun. So I did notice that um, on the backs of her legs there were some little sore scabs, little black things that didn't look like fleas. They weren't moving around or anything. Um, but obviously there was something that was bothering her and she was kind of chewing at it a little. So I will let them know to check her, the backs of her legs. Okay, put your foot down. I know, okay. All right, let's do the other one. Okay, see, even though I thought I got most of it with the buzzer and the scissors, <laughs> there's still areas. Can you see that? I don't know, you can see right here on the back foot. I missed some. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. All right. So this is all brushed out, blow dry and brushed out, and it's all pretty. So this is really long. This hair here is really long, and they kind of want it to be like a little angled, 
but the way the hair is falling, it feels like it's fuller at the bottom. So I might just hold the leg up like this and then just give it a quick little trim down here and then I'll see how it looks when it's laying down flat. But this is this falls here, so it almost looks like it's kind of angled out. I don't know if you can see that. So I'll do what I can. I'll probably just try to follow this line here. So it looks like just little wispies. I don't wanna to take too much off. Daddy, Dad likes, Dad likes the fringe and it's pretty. All right. I got most of it done. Yeah, I'm just, I can still smell it. It's faint, but it's pungent and it's there. <laughs> Did the best we could though. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I'll um, find some good, um, like skunk removal smell uh, stuff online and whatever I find, I will post it for you guys in case you're looking for something good. I don't know. It's tough. I mean, everybody says tomato juice, tomato sauce, whatever. Um, and then other people are like, no, no, we don't use that anymore. We'll use something else entirely. I don't know. I've heard maybe Dawn. Dawn dish soap, though, does get rid of, like, grease. But it actually isn't very good for animals, even though they have, like, advertised it for, you know, cleaning up the oil off the animals that got stuck in the oil spill, like the birds. So I would say in that case, yes, use some Dawn, but like don't use Dawn regularly or dish soap regularly on your dogs. Use something nicer. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pause this for a second and be right back because I gotta text your mom. forgot the ears. <laughs> My bad. Okay. And then we are done. That's what happens when I get in a hurry and I'm feeling a little bit rushed. I forget things. Just following the ear. The ear pattern. Or line. So, it looks pretty even. Oh, let me poke you in the eye. Hey, sorry. It was my thumb. Kind of poked in her eye area. Not bad. You're okay. Yeah, you're okay. You're a good girl.
Alright. You almost done. Yeah. looking good yeah so got some wispies but it looks pretty blended okay yeah okay I'm gonna use the scissors again on just the tip of the ear so it looks more rounded okay hold still hold still I know you don't like the ear being held I'm sorry is my alarm all right <clears throat> okay so i think we're done she looks really good they didn't want bows in her hair this time so we won't do the bows um, but i do have a pink bandana so i will give her a pink bandana she had a um another bandana on when she came so i will put that one back on but i'm gonna give her a pretty pink bandana because she's a girl she's a girl she's very girly all right, a few more spritzes of this. Put it, not right in her face, but above. Uh, a little, little, leave it a little bit damp, but it'll dry. Yeah, and that smells really good, yes. Can you stand up? Stand up. too much we don't want to soak her down after we just blow dry her but that will dry that will smell pretty I think that's pretty good I make sure I got the hiney area brushed out it's okay it's okay all right okay so we get a bandana on you get a nice pink one here it is what do you think this mean we're all done Oh, so pretty. So pretty. All right, guys. I think we're done. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this project of trying to de demusk her a little bit and make her smell pretty and get her all cleaned up. All right. Have a good day, guys.